Hey, hey, hey. So today we are going to play with some uh, steganography uh, using Outguess. Outguess is a real old program, but it's uh, it's nice because you can dual embed things with it, and uh, it's pretty simple to use. So we uh, obviously, if you don't have it, app git uh, install Outguess. Bada bing, bada boom. I already got the uh, newest version. Yada yada yada. The newest version is like over a decade or more, 20 years old. Jeez. Um, anywho, so I also have some cat pictures. And four JPEGs and a PNG. We're going to play with the JPEGs today. And there are some different sizes. So one that's pretty big, and then the others are fairly small. So let's go um, with first, we'll embed something. So outguess. Oh, what are we going to embed actually? Let's embed a text file first. So let's make one. And we'll just echo into the console cats, cats, cats. And we'll call that cats.txt. Cool. And it is obviously, so you can see, ASCII text, just a regular text file. And we're going to embed that file into um, cat2.jpg. Let's try that. So, actually, I take the back. We're going to put it into cat1. Um, let's go out, yes. And the file that we are embedding is cats.txt. And we do not need to set a password, so we won't use the tack k option. And then we're going to put it in cat1.jpg. And our output is going to be ogcat.jpg. So not an issue. Saves it. Cool, sweet. Let's just double check. Here we go. OGcat.jpg. Let's scan it with steg detect. And steg detect says nah, I didn't find anything. So just in case, let's crank the sensitivity all the way up. Still says no. However, we know something's in there. So let's look at the strings real quick. And these strings right here, when uh, JPEG starts with this and exactly this, I tend to think like there's a pretty good chance that Outguess was used to embed something in there. And I'll show you what I mean. So we used um, the cat1.jpg to, to do our embedding first. So let's use cat2 this time. And we'll call this one ogcat2.jpg. And this time we'll actually set a password on this. So we'll go tag k. And the password we'll use is meow. Let's just see how it goes. So now, again, no problem, it embeds. So let's take a look. So we have our ogcat2. So this time, let's run steg detect on it. Let's see. Oh, so it thinks that there might be something embedded. It says JP hide, eh, possibly. Um, quick aside, Steg Detect will say sometimes things that were embedded with other um, other tools. It might think it's JP hide. So in this case, it, it's not JP hide. Obviously, you saw that it is uh, outguess. So let's turn the um, Turn the sensitivity up all the way and just test it again, OGCAT2. And it definitely thinks that something's embedded in there, so let's actually try with the optimum uh, out guess. It's like 3.4, 3.2, I can't remember. Um, still says JP hide, but again, we know something's embedded in there, so we'll check the strings also, OGCAT. 2.jpg and if you remember the strings from the last time they were the j5 and then the bunch of twos and all this stuff right here right and that was from ogcat.jpg so now when we do ogcat2.jpg we get the same strings that were in the other one this stuff right here is different 
but everything above that is the same. Anyway, so again, good indication that outguess was probably used. Um, so now we have these two out, uh, these two cat files that have had something embedded in them. So let's pull something out real quick. Let's just see how that's done. So I'll go out, yes, tack R for retrieve. And we're going to retrieve stuff out of OG cat.jpg. And if there's anything in there, we're going to save it to OG.txt. And it looks like there was. It has no problem finding something. So let's see. Look, there is an OG.txt here. Awesome. Let's see what it is, if it's really a text file. Yep, ASCII text. So let's cat it out to see what's inside. Cats, cats, cats. If you remember, that's the same thing we put into cats.txt. Same thing, right? So now, let's try to extract the stuff out of OG cat too. So we did out guess tag r the file we want to extract from and what we want to call it if it does save something. And we get an error this time. It says extracted data length is too long. And this is an error I get sometimes when I know something's embedded, but I've provided an incorrect or incomplete password, which is the case this time. So if you remember, I didn't put a password on here to, to try to retrieve. It's because one's needed this time, but one wasn't needed last time. So let's actually assign a password. And we had used meow as the password last time, but let's try an incorrect password. Let's try cats. And it gives me the same error saying, hey, data is too long. Again, the data itself is too long, but it still knows it should be this length. So let's try the proper password, which was meow. And awesome, we get an actual extract extracted right. The file we should have is called OG2. So we'll go file OG2, ASCII text, right? Perfect. Let's cat it out. And obviously, it's the right file. So now we have, what am I doing here? We, let's get rid of, uh, so now let's see if we can embed something else into this cat3 picture. Let's go out, yes. And the data we want to embed, we're actually going to embed this OG cat2 file. And we'll set a password. Uh, actually, no, we won't even set a password. We're just going to keep it as it is. Um, and the cover file, again, is this big one. So cat3.jpg. And our output's going to be called um, ogpic. Dot JPEG, or we'll just call it OG-2.jpg. So again, no password. We have data embedded in there. Let's do it. Let's see if it works. And it worked. So now, just to verify it's in there, it is, of course, but we have OG2.jpg. So now, let's go detect og jpeg It says it doesn't find anything, but again, if you have a really big file and a small embed, then oftentimes you won't be able to, uh, stake detect won't be able to tell, but we'll crank up the sensitivity. We'll see. Still nothing. So we'll clear it out, and then let's just check anyway. Let's just try to run out, guess. Attack R on OG2.jpg, and if it does save something, we'll just call it out. And it was able to find something. So now, let's see, uh, and it's this file called out. So let's see what that file is. Oh, it says it's a JPEG. So we will go and open our cat folder out, and we got this cat image out of there. So it looks like a cat image. Right? 
Looks like a cat, no big deal. And then the original cat picture is this one here. The one that we embedded in is this one here. Doesn't look like anything's changing, right? Everything looks pretty much the same. That's what it's supposed to be. So, this out file though. Let's scan it just in case. Stay detect. We'll just crank the sensitivity up. It thinks that there might be something embedded in there. So let's run out guess on it. Out guess tag R. Oh, you know what? Out guess is probably going to yell at me if it doesn't have an extension. Let's go out to. So I just copied it to make sure that it has a JPEG extension, but these are the exact same file. Same file size, same permissions. Again, just Outguess tends to, to not be happy if you don't have the right output or the right file extension, even if it is. Um, so we're going to try to retrieve from out.jpg and we'll save it as just txt if it is anything. It says data length's too long, so that means we probably need a password. So let's go tag K, and I think the password was meow. Again, it did find something, no problem. So let's go uh, cat and see what TXT is, and it's cats, cats, cats. So again, like what happened was embedding a text file into an image, and then embedding that image into another image, and then being able to retrieve the embedded image, and then be able to retrieve the text file that was in that image. Um, sounds, I don't know if that sounds super convoluted, but basically I took A, put it in B, I put B in C, and then I was able to pull B out of C, and then pull A out of B again. So just a way to like Russian doll, um, whatever your embeds. So again, that's outguess, that's just a way you can play with it. Um, oh, one last thing. You can also set the compression quality of the image when you embed something. So if I were to embed, uh, we'll say cat4, this time is what I'm going to embed. And we'll just make, um, say cat real big, and we'll put that into a file that's just called c.txt. And then again, you can change the, um, the compression quality of the image if you want. So what I would do is go out guess tag uh, D for the data file. We're going to put c.txt in there. The uh, password I would use will be just uh, meow as always. And then you use tag P to pass a parameter, and it's anywhere from 75 to 100. And this is the compression quality of the image. So you could do P77, you could do P88, you can do P100, whatever. And then again, you have to supply your cover image, and we'll say cat4.jpg, and our output we'll call og4.jpg. So you see that it says uh, da, 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 da. jpeg compression quality set to 100, hence the parameter. That's it. That's outguess for now. Enjoy. If I can figure out how to turn this on.